we're tired. We're tired of our cries and anguish not being heard. Show me what community looks like. We're tired of our pain being overlooked. We're tired of keeping our heads down or not making any trouble when our elders are being assaulted, stabbed, and killed. Wouldn't you be? The hate field attacks on Asian Americans are disturbing, but why are we surprised? For many of us as Asian Americans in this country, we know what it feels like to be told we don't belong, that we're perpetually foreigners. And even though others try to minimize us to one entity, we represent so many different cultures, so many different backgrounds, so many different stories. What do you think happens next in a society where we've normalized xenophobia at the highest levels? Trump's gonna f you. You need to leave. You need to leave. You need to leave. You do not talk about guests like that. You need to leave. Asian piece of s. Oh my god. People assign blame to those who don't deserve it. People are emboldened to vandalize Asian owned businesses. People feel like it's okay to yell at you in public based on your race. Normalizing hate speech stokes the flames of racism and leads to an 84-year-old Thai grandfather lying helpless on the streets of San Francisco, left to die after being attacked. 84 years old. The next week, a 64-year-old grandmother assaulted in San Jose and a Filipino-American man slashed across the face in New York City. We're tired of this hateful violence. We're tired of talking about it, but we're not done speaking out. Far from it. Listen to your AAPI brothers and sisters. We must learn to love one another, to hear one another's anguish and actually care. Don't overlook the pain those around you are experiencing on a daily basis. Reach out to offer your support, to educate others, and let's put an end to this violence and hate together.